Hey everyone, uh, I'm going to be going through uh, how I film with my camera because a lot of people are uh, getting this camera or the T3, T3i or whatever and then uh, they ask me how to use it so I'm going to go through uh, how to set up your camera to use it. Um, I'm going to start off with the shutter speed. You want your shutter speed, that's right here. That's shutter, aperture, and then your ISO and then that's your exposure bracket. Um, well, let me, yeah, I'll just leave that. Okay. So, uh, shutter speed, you want it 125 to around like 500 or so. You don't need it all the way up into the thousands, doesn't really matter. Even even 125 works just fine, but if you want to like take a screenshot of it, you'll want it at more around 400. Um, I tend to have it 250, 320, kind of this bubble right here. Oh. Um, your, uh, oh, your aperture, you hit this AV button. AV plus or minus, you hold on to it and then you use your dial to change it. This camera goes 4.0 to uh, I believe 22. You're not, not ever going to be using 22. Um, good spot, 7.1 to 9.0 for uh, your aperture. That's just a nice, uh, nice spot to have it at. Um, your ISO, I like to just leave it at auto, but you never want to really go over 400 because then it starts to look really grainy. So I just leave that at auto, and then that way if like the sun uh, gets covered by the clouds or something, you uh, still get a hold of your exposure. And then to uh, see all your settings, you hit this star button. That shows you right here your exposure bracket, where your exposure's at. Right now it's where it should be. Shows you your ISO since it's on auto, and then after a little bit it'll go back to saying auto. And then... Uh, you're all good there. Um, you can set a custom white balance. I don't have a card in my camera right now, but uh, you just go take a picture. Oh, you know, card and camera, so the picture isn't safe. But you either go to hit menu, the uh, fourth uh, menu bracket thingy, my bobber, and then you go to custom white balance, and then you would hit the set button, and then set again, and then you would uh, hit this Q button, go to your white balance right here, and then you would go over to custom. I already have a custom set up from some time I used it. You want to put a white piece of paper in front of your camera, and then take the picture. That way uh, your white balance is all set up and looking good, but otherwise you can just use auto in it. It does a pretty good job. Um, next thing is going to be your uh, picture style. I have a uh, user defined 3 right here. That's the picture style I use. Go to menu and then uh, where's picture style? Oh, it's right there next to your custom white balance. Um, so you go down here. I just use 3 because it's right there. Hit display and then you can go in here and uh, change all of these. I have my sharpness. You can see the, uh, the one that's not uh, bolded. That white thing that's not bolded is where it's supposed to be or where it is regularly. So I have my sharpness over one. My contrast, it's originally right there. I have it over two. My saturation, it's all uh, usually over there. Have it over two. And then color tones, usually there. And I have it over two as well. And then that just makes it so that you uh, boost your uh, your contrast and your saturation and your colors in camera. So you don't have to do it um, in your movie editor. It just saves a little bit of time editing. Some people turn the contrast that, like down to saturation down to and color tone down to and your sharpness down to and then they uh, that way it gives them a nice flat picture to work with and then they uh, work with the uh, the colors and stuff in their uh, editing software but I just prefer it this way because it's a little less work and it looks just fine and I'm not some like high end video maker person so that's what works for me and then uh, you just go here and then second one down and then put it to three just using your dial here um, I usually film 720p at 60 frames per second um, just just cuz I don't like 1080 it takes way too long now there's two kinds of autofocus I use um, I like to use the uh, the quick mode because it just picks a spot and then uh, you got it buy a truck hold on okay because you just uh, half press the shutter then it picks where it should focus um, the other one is uh, live mode and then you have this thing right here and then you get to pick where it will be focusing 
And then a nice thing with this one is you can uh, right here, this button with the magnifying glass, you hit that and then it, uh, it zooms in. You can't take pictures like this, but it'll zoom in and then you can focus it like that or you can focus it manually to get it to where you need to be and then it'll be pretty much just spot on. And uh, let's see, is there anything else we need to go over? I think that's pretty much everything. Um, the video button's just all the way over there. Um, so I think that's everything. Um, it shouldn't be too hard. Um, lens wise, um, the 18 to 55 will definitely uh, get you get you started. Um, I have a, a 17 to 40 millimeter f4L. Um, it's a pretty expensive lens, but I like it better than the other one um, that came with the camera. Um, for filming BMX, you don't really want a uh, of that long of a lens. A bunch of people have asked me about the uh, 51.8 because I have that lens and it's way too long for uh, filming video, uh, well BMX video. So if you want a, uh, a prime lens, I would rather go with like the 24 or the 28 2.8. Um, yeah, but even those would still be kind of long with the crop sensor. So I'd just stick with your 18 to 55 unless you want a uh, like a fisheye and then you can just uh, go to Amazon and then type in a uh, Canon fisheye then there's like a Bauer uh, broken in or something like that and a Vivitar and some other ones and they're all pretty much like the exact same fisheye just the uh, the company that makes it brands it under a bunch of different names and change the price up a little bit I guess I don't know um, but if you want a fisheye I would go for one of those ones instead of the uh, Canon one because the Canon one's really expensive and those ones are like 300 bucks so if you want a fisheye lens, those would be pretty good. The uh, the lens, the uh, fisheye lenses that attach to the uh, the like the that screw onto your filter threads, those ones aren't too good because the quality of the glass kind of pretty much sucks. But uh, I mean, they'll work, but you're better off spending the 300 bucks on a legit lens. Um, I think that's everything. Um, have fun with your uh, with your DSLRs filming some videos. Uh, I filmed this on my brother's uh, D3100, it's a Nikon, but it's fairly easy to use I guess. This one, I like I like Canons better, just because it was my first camera I guess, I don't know, I'm a Canon guy. Um, yeah, I think that's everything, so uh, I'll let you guys uh, get to what you were doing, and uh, see ya.